Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. And a question that I get all the time from high school students is, should I go to college to become a photographer? Now, this is a huge debate in this day and age, especially when a lot of people don't think you need to go to college to have a career in something you love. Now, the reason I bring this up is because a reader sent in a message, a high school student sent in this email, and I'm gonna paraphrase it and read some of it. You can see it on the screen right now. Okay, here it is. Hi, Jared, my name is Ali and I'm a junior in high school. Currently, my life is surrounded around college and my future. Anyways, my parents are very supportive and want me to go to school to do something I am passionate about, and that is photography. I am in, in my school's yearbook as a photographer, and I would love to pursue a career in it, and I was wondering where you went to school or what your journey was after high school so I can gain some perspective from a professional. Thanks. Allie. So Allie, thank you very much for your question. And I know there's a ton of people out there right now trying to figure out the same exact thing. So first, I want to give kudos to your parents to um, supporting or for supporting your passion as a photographer and wanting you to do something that you are passionate about. That is that is great. Now, on to your questions. Where did I go? I went to a two-year school called Antonelli Institute uh, for Photography in Erdenheim, PA. Um, it is a smaller school, but it is a very good school with great teachers, but it is a two-year photography only school. Yes, they do have some business classes, and I know they're starting to shift into some video, but the question is, should you go to a two-year photography only school? And I'm finding it harder and harder these days to say yes. You can learn a lot about photography, not only from my website, but from many other places online that would be far less expensive than going to college. Now, what's good about going to a college like Antonelli or a two-year school is that it's straight up photography. You're going to basically be paying to be given assignments that you're going to do. Now, these, these assignments are gonna be all over the board to help you get a well-rounded education so that when you do step out into the world as a quote-unquote photographer, you are going to be more ready to take on any job that may come your way. But in all honesty, when I left college, you know, the colleges say that they will place you, or Antonelli has a placement department that's headed up by a good friend who does a tremendous job to make sure that he can do his best to make sure that you get to somewhere photo-related as a career, but they can't guarantee that. And most of the jobs that are coming out of college that are being sent into these colleges to be placed, they're not the greatest things at all. So when I left school, I struggled for a long time. I struggled to figure out what to do. I was on my own shooting. I was working at a photo studio, which I didn't stay at long because I wanted to actually shoot and not be stuck printing other people's terrible photos. I wanted to be out in the world shooting. Uh, I, I did a lot of corporate jobs. I did weddings, I shot for other people, but I will also say this, that the majority of the people that I graduated with, I would say 95 to 98% of them never got anywhere in photography. So maybe they tried for a couple of years and they failed, but they moved on to something else. So the majority of the people that go to school for photography are not exiting the world and becoming photographers. It's just not that easy. So I have some more notes right here is, if I was to go do it again, you know, there's that debate. Do you go to a four-year school and spend the money or do you try to venture out on your own and invest in gear? It's a tough decision. But if I was in your, in your shoes and you needed to go to college, not needed, but you would like to go to school, I would go to the largest, most popular four-year school that you can get into because it's about connections. It's about the alumni network. It's about being able to graduate in four years and have connections and opportunities with different businesses all around the world from people that went to the college that you went to. Now, I wouldn't go for a photo degree as a master's or a batch or whatever it is. I would not go straight up for, for photography. I would go into business, branding, 
marketing, with a minor in photography, with a minor in advertising, with uh, what else do I have here? Business marketing, audio, video, anything that has to do with being creative that will allow you to step out into the world and be able to take on multiple roles. There are not many jobs out there today for strictly just photography. It's not like the old days where you're like, yeah, I'm going to go work for a newspaper. Newspapers aren't paying. That, that's not a viable job as a photographer anymore because you just can't make money. And if anybody tells you that it's not all about money, well, they're probably not making any. It is important that you at least make some money that you can sustain yourself. You can always do the passion projects, but if you're looking for a career and you don't want to live in your parents' basement for the rest of your life, you're going to need to find a way to be successful. And that is being a photographer, a videographer, understanding how to edit video, edit photos, understand audio, know a little, about, a little bit about branding and marketing and business so that you can step into any business out there in the world and be a creative that can bring more than just photography photography to the table. I'll say this about Vayner Media, Gary Vaynerchuk's company. They put out a job posting a couple years ago that if I wasn't in this business right now, that would have been my job out of college. They were looking for somebody who was a photographer but could could set up video shoots and photo shoots and handle working with clients. They're looking for people that do more than just take pictures, but they are creatives that can be well-rounded in multiple different levels of things that you can go out there to do. Um, so those are the dilemmas. Those are the things that, that I highly suggest doing. I think you can go to a four-year school. Why do I say a four-year school that's the largest out there? Because they have the most activities for you to participate in. Say it's Penn State University. That's a huge school. Or Ohio State. Any of these large schools have athletics departments, huge uh, academic departments, where there's so many different um, uh, extracurricular activities you can participate in. But with the sports, you've got the football teams, the basketball teams, the lacrosse teams, the, the women's volleyball, the swimming, the track and field, the softball and baseball and chess and, and, and political things. There's so many different opportunities for you to take photographs in a huge school that it doesn't matter if you're into sports, you're into academics, you're into other clubs. There's things that you can go out there and capture and learn. So take the photography classes, but also get involved with anything photo related. Call the president of the school and say you want to do a photo shoot with them. Do a project photographing all of the professors, doing video of the professors, getting their opinions and, and, and capturing that for a project. Just do it. You pay to go to these schools, so use that to your advantage. You ask for things because you're paying the school to allow you to do that stuff, so take advantage of all of that that you have in front of you. That's why I think a big four-year school is a great place to go to not only get the education, but to get the alumni. It's all about networking. The people you meet today are the people that are going to help you in business in the future, and all of the alumni associations that have been there for 100 years or more at different schools schools, they're going to help you find jobs and get a jump start somewhere. I know this is long-winded, but that's the thing. I don't know that a two-year straight-up photography school makes much sense anymore. You need to be more well-rounded going out into the world today. So I'm not discouraging you from going and pursuing photography. I'm encouraging you to take the photography, but do all of those other things that I mentioned to make yourself more well-rounded so that you can either start your own business or walk into another business with through an alumni association contact, or you just can go apply for a job because you're super well-rounded. It's a starting point to get out there into the world. So is it worth it to go to college to become a photographer? I will say no if all you're looking to do is just take pictures. I honestly don't think that's a viable path for anybody, but I will say yes, it's viable if photography is a subset of the things that you're going to go do when you get into college. There's a whole other thing out there that says take the money that you would have spent on college and try to start a business. That is something that you can do, but I will say there's a lot of grants, there's a lot of scholarships, there's a lot of opportunities for free money out there, regardless of who you are, uh, that you can get that's going to cut down on the bills that you have to pay to go to college. And just to throw a monkey wrench in there, there's also the option to not even go to college, to find a business that will hire you 
you or to allow you to be an apprentice or just a tagger along to hopefully learn in the real world to get real world experience instead of spending all that money on school. Now you may not get paid a lot or you may not get paid at all to get a job with some place that will take you in and then allow you to be their apprentice to learn. There's probably not a lot of opportunities out there for that, but if you want to skip school altogether because somebody is going to give you the opportunity to get real world experience, well, I would possibly look in that direction for uh, what to do after high school. Now, it's more risky, but it could have a lot of upside and a lot of reward. It's one of those things where if it's something that you want, you will find a way to get it. Now, it's not going to be easy, but think about it. Real world experience that you don't have to pay to get, but you are actually not sitting there in a school classroom doing this. You're on the job getting real world training that will pay dividends in the long run. So those are the two alternatives. I know this is long winded. You could skip school. You could go out on your own. You could become an apprentice. You could go to a four year school. You could go to a two year school. It's all over over the place but those are some of my suggestions what do you guys think leave a comment down below i look forward to hearing what you guys have to say and that is where i'll leave it don't forget to subscribe here on youtube jared poland photo.com see ya subscribe now Watch this, watch this video.